All right, guys, I am super excited right now because I just got the notification that we can download the free beta for Affinity Publisher. Here it is um, as an email because I signed up to receive notification when it was available. So we're just going to go ahead and we are going to download this. Now, just for those who might not know, Publisher, we've been waiting for this for quite a while. Affinity has had it on the roadmap for literally years now. And it's finally here. It's going to be the full InDesign uh, equivalent from Affinity. So this is super exciting that we're finally going to have this. It means that designers who need to can break free of Adobe almost entirely now because the design suite has been fully replicated. Now, of course, we'll see how designer is, but based on Affinity's other work, it should be very good. They've certainly taken their time getting it ready for release. Remember, this is a beta though, so they are looking to weed out the bugs here. So not everything's going to work perfect the first time, and we'll probably be several months to a year out before the paid for version is released for this. So I'm going to click the download free beta here, and it's going to pop open in a new tab. Looks like it's going to take me to the Affinity website and say right here. And of course, you're talking about the development and they've got the free beta. We're still a few months from release of the first version. It's beta, just like I said, not everything's fully polished and they'll be adding features. If we'd like features, they, we can request them. This will work great with other of their apps, which is something that Affinity is just so good at, is having their apps work together better than Adobe, I'd say. So, that's great. And then the forum is where we'll be able to list out bugs. And now we're going to download it. So it's going to pop over to the download screen. It's going to ask me for my username and password. So I'll put those in now. Okay, and then click get my download link. So it's got the date and it's got the download number. And then it says that I can download it. And it's 295.5 meg and it's a DMG file because I'm on a Mac and I believe it's only available for Mac. That's normally how Affinity does things is they go Mac first. They, with the beta, they go Mac first to get it onto machines. And then later they'll come back and they'll do the Windows file. So sorry PC users, but I mean Mac's better anyways, so you should really be rolling with it. Okay, now it's downloading. See, it's going to take probably about seven minutes. I don't have a very fast internet connection here. We just moved into a new place. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so it is now done downloading. And it is down here in my downloads, just the DMG. And I'm just going to click on that. And the Mac is going to start opening it up. This might take a second as well. And then it's just going to tell me to drag the publisher. And then it's got the beta sign on it. Uh, that will differentiate this from the actual publisher app and it will of course be deactivated when the real app is re released. So I'm just going to drag this into the applications folder. We'll start dumping it onto the actual disk. And this is going to take a while to install. So we'll just leave this for a moment here. It's predicting about 16 minutes. Oh, now it's going faster. All right, so that was a pretty quick install or uh, copy over to disk. So now I'm just going to open it up, and I'm sure we'll need to go through some other setup before we can actually use the application. Okay, so of course Mac's going to pack, pop up and be like, oh, this is downloaded from the internet, so you shouldn't open it. But of course we trust Affinity, so I'm going to say open. And so it should open up anyways. This came straight from Affinity's site. I trust the file. Just going to clean my memory here because uh, this will, of course, be an intensive graphics processing, and as a beta, it won't be optimized. So I want my memory as scrubbed as it can be right now, which, of course, won't be perfect because I am recording. All right, so what do we have here? Well, right off the bat, we get this Affinity Publisher 
um, opening screen, which is normal for them. And they have some ads for their other things, and they're going to have to find out more buttons so we can learn more. There's going to be tutorials and samples. So this is very standard for what you get out of Affinity Designer. So then, I mean, yeah, uh, this is very standard for what you get out of other Affinity products. So let's go ahead and just click Create New Document and see uh, how familiar this is. We can choose what type of document we're going to get, so print, web, or devices. Of course, going to go with print for now. And of course, there's a bunch of different settings. I'm going to choose uh, letter A. Um, yeah, I'm assuming A is set to A4 because Affinity is developed by a team in Britain. And of course, in America, we mostly use the letter size, not the A4 size. So I'm just going to go with that. And do it in inches. Um, we can set facing pages. So if we're doing a spread, that's what we want. Uh, color format, we want to be in CMYK probably. Color profile, a bunch of different options there. You probably want to talk to your printer about what to use. Choose transparent background. Of course, you can set the dimensions yourself or choose to be portrait. And then if you uncheck this, I'm assuming you get landscape. And if you uh, landscape um, design like a trifold flyer or anything like that. And then we can do margins. Um, if you're connected to your printer, you can retrieve your margins from the printer directly. I'm not seeing bleed or slug on here. Um, I'm assuming that those can be set somewhere else. And I'm not saying that you can attach the margins to each other. So I'm just going to set that to one inch. So I don't want it to be one and a quarter inch. And then click OK. And it immediately pops up here with my page. Perfect. This is looking very similar to other Affinity programs. I'm seeing a number of tools over here that are normal. Move tool, the node tool, the fill tool. So they're calling that the fill tool again. So. That's interesting because that's what they called it in the designer version on iPad, and it really has been a gradient tool. And then there's the transparency tool. Okay, so these are the very standard tools for vector editing. Place an image. There we go. Picture frame tool. Let us lay out where our pictures are going to be. Not sure why they included the vector crop tool in here to be honest, but I guess they had it from their other programs, so they left it there. Um, just a text tool. And then the regular text tool. Tables. Move and zoom. Okay, so we've got these personas here. Uh, there's the layout persona, vector persona, and photo persona. Okay. So it looks like to use the photo and vector personas, you're going to need the compatible versions of Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. And I'm not sure why. They must have just released an update for these that made them compatible, but I haven't updated to yet. So we'll have to do that and then look at those in more depth. But immediately we see here that we have this pages option and there are master pages and pages just like there are in InDesign. So that's perfect. Uh, we can get to the document setup here. Here's our bleed. Perfect. Don't see a slug. I've never found slug to be something that I needed often. So maybe they felt, felt like it wasn't needed. But for those of you who do communicate with the printer a lot using the slug, that might be an issue for you if it's not here. Um, it's not here now, I'm sure it's coming later. Spread setup. We're not really doing a spread right now, so I can find that. And then a preferences pane looks very similar to the other preferences pane. So different things. Okay. What I'm looking for in here to make sure that we have is a styles option because we've sorely sorely been missing good text styling paragraph style options in the affinity suite. So that's what I'm trying to hunt for here. 
paragraph textiles all right we are looks like we're in business here I'm not seeing how to add one right off the bat but that'd be really odd if you couldn't and you were just stuck to what they have here um, yeah so tab stops are here justifications flow options Basic options, drop caps, transform panel, navigator panel, and the history panel. Those are all standard to Affinity applications. Color swatches and stroke, all the same. And yeah, so most of the options are very similar if you've used the other programs. It looks like the um, getting in to this program will be fairly simple coming from another Affinity program. I don't see the assistant in here yet to help you out. That's probably just a matter of this being the beta. There's guide editing. I'm gonna also see if I can turn on my rulers here. Okay, so in the studio, there's a whole bunch of studio options that we don't have open up yet. Great. Rough object style, just the paragraph style. Uh, I'm just going to search for my ruler here. Hey, really? Perfect. Let's see if I can drag out guides. Ah, perfect. I can. So I'll go to my guides and start setting up my document that way. I can. So there's a wealth of options here text wrapping options. Let's go back and look at these studios again real quick. Find and replace option, glyph browser, perfect. Table, table format, table of contents. Change ruler to show grid. Okay, nice. And I'm sure in the preferences we can set the grid up like normal these programs and so first look here well it hasn't crashed yet we also don't have any texture images in it yet so uh, we won't hold out too much for it being a completely stable beta but it seems fairly stable so far looks like I need to go update the other programs to get compatibility with this and uh, we'll be good to go so I will try and get some more videos out over the next couple weeks on how to do things in Publisher, but at first look, it's looking pretty good. I'm excited about having this option. For a lot of people, this has been their holdout. They've been waiting for Publisher so that they can drop Adobe and save themselves the subscription fee on that. So it should be a big deal in the whole design world. So I look forward to learning this along with you. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what your thoughts are on here, especially if you've downloaded it and started playing around with it. Let me know what your thoughts are and how it's working for you. All right. Thanks. Bye.